Can't shit. get Gul'dan unless you, uh... Unless you try. Okay, that doesn't work. Are you going to Pax East? No, I kind of wish I had, though. Girls have diseases that pet cats do not. Oh, no. Yeah, I think they might be dangerous. Reform. Replace your hand and deck with legendary minions. That card seems awful. I really only want to play uh, Gul'dan. Is it a Geppetto angle? <laughs> it might be. Give a friendly demon plus two attack and immune this turn. Deal three damage to a minion. Take damage from your cards to upgrade. Man, that card seems awful. Uh, let's take this. Ghost Rider? You know, why did they not put the curse package in? I thought you sleep on the floor. It's three minutes from me. Are you going? I'd probably get like a nice hotel that I would allow you to pay for. Uh, is a fiend a demon? I don't remember. What if I get the Omega Sludge deck? This card's good. Defile's good too, but man, school teacher's pretty nasty. Resurrect your last demon that died. And delete my whole deck. But this card's not bad if I if I actually get sludge cards, right? Uh let's take this big demon. I'm in two, four, six knights with taunt. Why did I want that? I don't know. I'm gonna take smokestack. Take archaeologist. Let's take another smokestack over a ring matron. Our last deck, we had ne Nemzi. We got offered zero ring matrons, zero of those knights, uh, zero enforcers. It was unpleasant. Uh, let's take a dark bomb. Okay, I should take sunspot, but let's just take all of the sludge cards and see. I think feeding time is pretty insane now. Let's take another miniaturized card. Play the dragon. A third smokestack? They're not very good, but <laughs> I've got them. They get demonic assault. A one drop? Yeah, let's just play something on one maybe. I, think I still want a ring matron. A fourth smokestack. Smoke them if you got them. Smoking is bad for you. We could uh, play a disposable assistant here. Did I take one? I did take one. Dude, this is going to OTK somebody. Dun, 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 dun. I want this. I mean, I would love that two drop, but... Fracking actually seems really good. Alright, let's take Fracking. This two is pretty good. Chaotic. Yeah. Let's take the two. Uh, let's take another Excavate, and some card draw, I guess. Player's gonna be there. It sucks that Twitch doesn't cover events. What do you mean? Like, media coverage, or like, cover the expenses for things? Twitch should pay for me to go. Passes. I'm not sure what that means. You want Twitch to... You want Twitch to... Pay for whose pass? Like, give you a free pass? They should. Like, for you to get in. Yeah, that does suck. I think one year it was half price. I don't think it's ever been better than half price. I, and, you know, I always say whenever... I'm sure... Summit or or Amaranth aren't paying for a TwitchCon ticket. I'm sure if you reach a certain threshold, they probably even sometimes pay some of those people to go. Or it's like part of their contract to go, but like I'm sure they're generously compensated with a gigantic Twitch ex exclusivity contract. Do you song Boys in the Hood by Dominate Hack and can you play it? Uh... Is that a, is that a, I don't know the song. I'm sorry, what are you asking me? Howard? 
I was downtown for a conference today right by the crypto arena and when I was walking back to the metro this evening there were hundreds of Kings fans everywhere yeah they won 6-0 today the kind-hearted noble Los Angeles Kings are gonna win the Stanley Cup uh upgrades when you have five mana does that work I'm not sure Deal one damage and summon an adventure um, I don't remember if I get that. I, I kind of feel like I don't, but maybe I do. Doesn't work with Noggling? Yeah, that's okay, though, because I think a 3-2 and a 1-1 one, one is better than a 2-2. Two, two. I guess, like, it depends if I have a target. Yeah, I feel like it never upgrades. If you're asking if I know that song, I don't know it. If you're asking, can I play it? Like, play it on stream? Sure. If that's what you're asking. Um, if you ask, can I play it, like, on the guitar, then no. I don't know it. Do you have Boys in the Hood by Dynamite Hack? I'm not sure what that means, either. I feel like I haven't understood mo most of what chat said for, like, ten minutes now. Um, I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like, do I have their CD? Is this a hack? Yeah, play it on stream. Okay, can you link it for me? Whatever the hell you want to listen to. <laughs> Whatever the hell you want to listen to. Pick me, pick me. Any questions? If you have when the thing goes up and down, are you still alive? Oh, it's the Shaman run? Shaman went three, but we lost mostly to Hunters, so... Felt like it could have gone six if we queued against no Hunters. Uh, what's happening here? So I'm just playing that. What's up, Mr. Graham? Oh, let's get our QR code back. You know Dune 2 is going to be beyond good when everybody comes in randomly talking about it. Man, you're on the Dune 2 hype train, man. Right here in chat? I might be passing out soon, I hope. You wake up. You enjoyed it? Did you like the first one? I haven't seen either. Do you think I should watch them? I don't know what's next on the list. I watched Interstellar over the last couple of nights, and I liked it. I need to see six more memes before I consider it. <laughs> they ain't memeing on it, you know? What's the point? I did. Dune is epic. Did you read any of the books? Have you read any of the books? I'm sponsored by Dune 2. They are paying for breast enhancements. <laughs> Change this card? Yeah, it costs one less and you adapt now. Didn't read them, but I want to. Okay, yeah. I, I tried reading the first one. I just couldn't get into it. But Dune 1, I believe, is my brother's favorite book. I don't think he reads so much these days, but when we were kids, he read all the time. I like the new version of this card. 4 mana for 3 1-1 one, one poisons and 3 damage. That can go face too, right? Only minion. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I actually don't think it's like a broken card. <laughs> Not with like how broken everything is these days. Would have blown up the meta even more than it did at the time. What is it? Okay. I have four smokestacks. <laughs> Maybe you want to give me a smokestack. There should be a pity system where if you don't get cooldown after five drafts, you will get it. That would only help the, the barcoding. That would only help the barcodes more. But maybe that's fair. 
Maybe they need more help, you know? What is your opinion on Stanley Tucci? Uh, I don't know who that is. Or what that is. No, only for us. Okay. Only for Redbeard subscribers and Redbeard himself. Then I kind of like it. Twisted Knowledge. I guess I'll play this to kill something. It's not a demon, right? He's a nothing. Four, so I can kill that. Seems better than playing that. Getting smorked by aggro priest. Going first one drop, two drop, well statted three drop, four drop with rush. I could get um destroy a minion of some kind, okay. Actually not a bad card to discard when you're going second and just getting steamrolled. It's hard to spend two mana to just add cards to your hand. This would probably be better, but That will kill his guy now, huh? That's probably good. I just cast this. This may just be my best song yet. Nether Breath. Oh. Enemy minions, blah blah blah. Dread Steed. Mount. Is the mount good? Probably problem. And destroy your deck in five turns, destroy the enemy hero. Oh, that doesn't seem good. <laughs> I don't want to take it, but I think we're going to die. Uh, actually, if I had a bunch of... Um... It's almost enough. Oh, it is enough if I use the smoke stack. Seem good. Redbeard and Redbeard subscribers receive the benefit of Gul'dan, except for Dreads. Yes. 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 Except for Dreads. Um. I'm kind of really into these Japanese egg noodles. I get fresh and just put some hot water on and drain. Too many calories, but they're so good with all the chicken and the sausage stir fries I have going on. <laughs> yeah, that sounds delicious. The beloved Pogo. Pogo wasn't good for me. Huh? The candle is not a spell type, right? I want to get some of this stuff off the board. Maybe not. Anybody? Give your opponent a cursed card. When they hold it, they take two damage on their turn. Does this card ever do anything for me? This seems that seems like junk. Purchase account still running rampant in Arena? Um, I think there are fewer than there were, but I think you still... I don't think it's even necessarily like the people purchasing the accounts at this point so much. It's like people realize you can just start a new account and you'll get 500 or 1,000 gold. And it takes like a minute. So you don't even have to buy the accounts if you just want to like start a new account. Play a couple of arenas. Retire. You can retire five of them. Play one. If you have to make two or three accounts, like you can just do that. Tortola, so it's like the the system in place. I think makes it. Um, not great overall. Oh. 
play this and that. Get hit and shoot it. Could play this one, but... Without a demon, it's not super desirable. It's a demon. Never change this card to make it good. I did that. I know I'm forming dumb NA players with my superior EU brain. It's not fair. I'm currently 5 0 with Hunter. That's not fair either. This one. Oh no. Do I have to kill his guy? Kind of. If it dies. If I play that, I might discard it. If I discard this, it's okay. Let's just do this. And then let's hit it. Play those and then play this over that. And then I can give it immune if it's alive. It has sparkly wings. I would really like to hit my Draxus because I don't think I really want to be tapping in this game. Cannot exist without dark. Light cannot exist without a dog. Wow, it looks just like me. Your soul is you draw anything. He draws one card. Alt attack. I guess attack. Okay, tap last. L U L. Um, I think because he drew a few cards again, we we're down to tap one or two more times. Tremors, tremors, but they go right on the board. That, uh, that's just discovered. Where's that from? Renew. Okay, alright. Five down to seven, down to six. Hopefully, we don't lose our Jaraxxus. Okay, we lost our Jaraxxus and our Ring Matron. Uh, and our Legendary Excavate. Bottom 30. Seems like if I draft a Legendary that I need to draw for my deck to have success, it will be on the bottom. Seems to be a trend the last few days. Let's say you hit Jaraxxus here, you might be able to outvalue him. Now I got no hero power. And realistically no hope. So we're strong my deck. The snake in your feet. Can I get that good feeling remix red? Sure. Oops. This was deal or no deal. It'd be good because we lost all of our expensive cards. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, it's not that. Actually, we can probably just concede because the remaining five cards in our deck don't do anything. They don't impact the game. One actively loses us the game faster. We didn't really lose the game until turn 20, 25. We drew 20, 25 cards. You can't win them all. Just because you lose doesn't mean it wasn't interactive. But we're a terrible deck, we're a terrible class, and as a result, we're a terrible deck. And we're going to be at a disadvantage in every game we play with it, so like that's just not going to go away. That crap deck sure does feel horrible in this meta. It feels horrible in every meta though, doesn't it? But in this meta more so, it's it's it feels about the same. It actually it feels kind of bad this meta having a good deck and queuing it against a hunter because you just get an automatic kind of arbitrary loss a lot of the time. But it feels bad that 
more than half the classes can't reasonably get a good deck. Like, that just... That doesn't feel right. But it is the case. Feels bad when you can live a few turns, but there's no way to win. Yeah. Now we didn't, you know, get to that point until we drew 20, 25 cards. That's sort of... Like, it's still interactive, just because the draws don't work out in your favor or whatever. It's still interactive. But... I didn't like that I couldn't do anything. Maybe I should have actually taken one because I wanted to smoke stack it. You not being at a disadvantage is an unfair advantage. Yeah, that's kind of true. That's kind of true. That's kind of true. Like, an experienced player is at a pretty big advantage historically in Arena. It's like, if there was an MMR-based matchmaking system, at least something like with a pretty broad range, I think that probably would be good at this point. It would mitigate the barcoding issue, so... Like, the, the kind of deck disparity, like, always being... playing, Always playing with the inferior deck against the superior deck would get mitigated a little bit. It's either Ice Barrier or Counter Spell. It was Ice Barrier. It was so poisoning. Uh, I think I'll just take that just to trade it away. Um, I think if you did like end of the month rewards for arena based off of your 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 ranking the star base system similar to what they already have or constructed would be fine you just wouldn't want it so like pj and dose and colst only play each other or judge you wouldn't want like the top 10 or 20 or 100 players to only play each other the cues would be abhorrent and I think the experience would actually be negative for those players to never like because you, you then it really like deck quality becomes like the biggest determining factor i think I there should be a retired tracker the less you retire the less you play against people that retire yeah that sounds hard to implement but that would be a, that would be a good change hopefully one day they do something like that although i don't really anticipate it uh this one I suppose that could have been worse. We're lost to a better hunter. Yeah, there you go. Or a hunter that goes first, right? A lot of the times it's like equivalent hunter decks and the one who goes first gets you know it's even it's even it's even and then they cast collateral and then you lose or it's even it's even it's even and then they play their Aralon and then you play your Aralon and your Aralon can't do anything because all their guys wake up first why didn't his cast mirror images for him you know I'm really a little confused why it's not just repeatedly casting mirror images Spells cast by the weapon are random. Uh, there are 10 spells it can cast, and there's a range of, of things it will cast depending on the board state. There's a range of uh, potential things. So like if your hand has fewer cards, it'll be more likely to cast Arcane Intellect. If your life total's lower, it's going to be more likely to cast Ice Barrier. If the board state's pretty neutral, it seems like it's more likely to cast Counterspell. If 
Your opponent has one 6-6 six, six on the board. It does seem to be more likely to cast Fireball. Mine has not yet cast Volleymorph on anything useful. Is... Did... I'm going to die. Can I ever kill him? The card just doesn't do anything, really. What about targets? Yeah, it only targets enemies. Uh, where's the card? Uh, that's not true. It can target your own side of the board. Actually, I'm told. Where's that from? Was that from Amalgam? Amalgam of the Deep. As if I could be cleverer. Rolling cards. Bunch of taunts? Bunch of divine shields. Let's take divine shields. Do I want to play this? I could play it and then shoot it myself if there's no target. I think the thing deals seven. Is that right? Seven. So I'll be one short. I don't think we get there now, but maybe that can shoot his face? Both players take fatigue damage twice. So I can play this. And I can shoot this. This cast zero images, mirror images. Last time I, I uh, mulliganed that away, and then somebody played a peasant against me and I really wanted it. I don't anticipate someone playing peasant, but it could happen. Hello my friend, what's up Hubie? Experiencing the game testing life, I guess so. I guess so. Alright, it's time. To draw extra cards. It seems like a pretty good start. One drop, assistant, double sludge on wheels, and a fracking. I'm so glad that it's a peasant meta again. You like the peasant meta? Don't feel the, Don't feel the stickers! How's it going, Chuck? I hope it's going well for my dear friend, Chuck. Uh, kills my guy. I call him rude. I double hit his guy. I've been hating this game, so I enjoy when there's turn one cards. If you don't answer, you can concede. <laughs> I don't think peasant you have to concede if you can't answer it anymore. But maybe you do. Let's get these out of my hand. What have you been playing, Chuck? If you hate this game. Six mana, four four. Can they survive the ring of death? 
Game is full of bots and barcodes again. Yeah, I don't think it ever really stopped. They say they ban when I oh, we banned a hundred thousand, you know, bots or whatever. It's like, okay, how many are there? Ten million? It seemed like they're banning all that many of them. Or a high percentage of them. Who here can spell Zinjari? Anybody? 20 damage from hand. I need a uh, Emperor Thorason to discount them all. Out of my jungle. So I can play one, play one. Like I can't play this. If I discard one of those, that'd be annoying. I mean, the odds are I discard one of these, right? You need Popcar. I, I need Popcar. That probably is better than Thorason, huh? I got a full house. Dude, this makes me want to play Bellatro. I beat another another deck on on uh, red stakes difficulty. I got I, I got as far as I could on white and then there were no more decks. So now I'm going all through all of them again with red. Pick me, pick me. You know what they say? Odds are there to be lost. They do say that, don't they? Yeah, I think you're right. Play some Bellatro on stream. Let's go. I don't I don't know about that. Although yesterday, man, run. It never really came totally to fruition. But here, for the for you Bellatro freaks. I, I'd never I kind of forced a build. I kinda like to force builds in Bellatro. But I got an early campfire, and I figured I'll just I'll just buy it because you know campfire strong and i never liked to play the vampire guy but i had the vampire guy i was like oh, i gotta take the vampire guy too get my first gold ante today with the checkered deck hey congrats um and then uh, campfire sometimes was like like eight or ten times eventually i started getting ways to get more money so i would just buy everything sell everything and then get back down to zero Eventually, I kind of transitioned out, but like a high card was getting me like a hundred thousand points. <laughs> but I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to know like how and when to transition out of things to 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 go up. I mean, I beat it, and I I, I did a couple rounds after, but I, I only had three hands. I don't know if I was playing a deck that started with like fewer hands. I never got more hands, so I had to start like making real plays. So it was fun. I like to delete the first card, and it pays you. Uh, yeah, I had I didn't have that in that run. At some point I picked up because I was cycling jokers. I ended up with, um, if your first card's a six, destroy it and get a spectral pack. And I was trying to do that to get the sixes out of my deck, but I couldn't really. Uh, Jane, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. It's great to have you here. This card really needs a buff. They should make it a two, five. Red barely got XP from the game due to how fast the beatdown was. I got my two other brothers hooked on Bellatro. I love that game as well. Yeah, I, um... I would probably be playing more Bellatro right now if I wasn't playing so much Deep deep Rock Galactic Miner or whatever. Whatever that game's called. I'm playing that a lot. Two mana, three mana, two five, one, uh, two mana deal five. Yeah, let's do that. Whatever that means. Let's do that. Jane, um, I'm sorry to, uh, 
think ask again are you coming to america anytime soon Why I even play this game? Why do I even draft these cool synergies? Why do I suck so bad at the game? I'm embarrassed to say that to a pro gamer, but I cannot beat the first level of DRG with the scout. I think um, I'm, I'm no expert. I think that game and games like that really um, they kind of like you have to grind a little. I remember dying a lot at first. And then you like level up your characters, you upgrade your guns, and then it starts to be a little easier, and then you beat it, and then you go on to the next one, and it's sort of the same sort of concept. This card's your lowest cost card. I think it I think it it it's relatively common to die the first couple times you play it. You're like leveling up your weapons and then the next time you get it to 6 or 12 it has a it has a better ability and then you can progress farther. Roguelike usually means grinds that you can play. So it's normal that I'm 0 and 7 on the first character. Um I want to make a joke, but I'm not sure if I should. Um I don't know how many times I died. But I definitely died a few times before you know, uh, uh, hitting a point where I was no longer dying. I don't know if it was seven times, but it was definitely more than zero. And then you kind of have to like, I think there are some, some concepts that you sort of have to understand about the game. Like, like, you know, economy and stuff like that. Farming the, the, the minerals is more important than sitting around shooting bugs. I find sometimes even now I get distracted just like mowing down a big group of bugs but really you should be prioritizing like the little missions picking up the mushrooms or the flowers or you know uh, getting the, the 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 minerals I was bound to find a game I was completely off flat yeah it, it, it happens I'll give you a pass reluctantly of course Really hoping for like a, a good card here. Maybe next turn it's like coin coin shadow council. I never want to cast this or this. I got rid of those and I discarded the the thing down there. These days I've been getting suggestions by YouTube of some inglorious bastard clips. The part with three guys speaking down cracks me up. I'm not for at least 10 years. Oh my god. Well, that's horrible. Or maybe that's great, depending on what you want. Do not shoot. <laughs> that's such a funny... <laughs> Do, not shoot. Do not shoot. What does he say? I'm not a cannonball? Is that what he Do said at first? Shoot. It's pretty good. I haven't seen that guy in a while. We're gonna get fewer demons, but we're gonna try to be able to play more of them this turn, or one of them that's bigger. Uh, this seems pretty good. If your deck has no duplicates, summon all the demons from your hand. Currently, we have no duplicates. Do not chew, shot bot. Um, Hearthstone. Wiki, what does he say exactly? He says cannonball. And then he says do not shoot. <laughs> I like it. I'm gonna give him a greetings. I love card voices, yeah. I do too.
I'm not trying to BM him. I'm just saying like, hello. How are you? <laughs> That's pretty good. Hello, what's up, Emo Niaki? You still do card impressions, or did chat make you hate that too? Um, I haven't really been doing them. I turned them off one point, I think during the summer, because I was keeping the, the doors open because it was really hot in here, and I just didn't want to be like hooting and hollering in the middle of the night, two in the morning. Hey, babe, beard, what's up, sausage? No rush. Yeah, maybe he plays like hero power or something. And I'll point this out for this. Learning to play the guitar, my mom already said. Well, good thing we're going towards summer. Go we'll play in the backyard. And I was like, okay, wow. <laughs> what is it? That's rude. Um, are you taking lessons? Or are you using YouTube? I think it could be worth it to potentially um, invest in get, getting like a teacher. Getting like an actual human to help give you some stuff specifically to practice. Um, that helped me a lot when I was learning to play guitar. I took away going toward summer from that comment. We're getting more snow. I, I don't think I understand. I'm not familiar with the type of things I'm hearing. Okay, buddy, can you... Can you maybe now kill it. Spend four mana, spend three mana to shoot it and develop nothing. I'm using a combination of YouTube and a human friend who plays and spend some time with me on Discord. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just think having somebody... Um, Kind of hold you somewhat accountable, but also give you some good direction can be really helpful. Like, I was trying to learn on my own, you know, but this was probably before there was a million YouTube videos that could easily help, but it was really hard. Um, like, even just reading you know, music and, and tablature and stuff like that was kind of hard to even, like, what am, what am I supposed to even be doing? But then I paid my friend, who was a music major, he was a music theory major, and he played in a band, and he had played guitar for like 10, 20 years. Well, he was a co-worker at, um, at Target. I paid him to come over, and he's like, yeah, I'll come over $20 an hour, and I'll teach you. He was looking to make some extra cash. I was like, yeah, sure. And um, then I was like, well, I know he's coming over. He's going to know if I didn't practice. <laughs> I need to practice. Otherwise, he's going to be mad at me, or I'm going to be wasting the $20. I don't want to waste twenty dollars. Summer is almost gone. Here, I'm going to miss wearing denim shorts, letting your ass cheeks hang out in the wind. Jane has summer weather or close to it, where I get snow. Well, you should move. Move in with Jane. I think a teacher helps with accountability. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, how much? How many are on the bottom? Reporting for duty. A lot on the bottom. I love letting my ass cheeks flap in the wind. Yeah, I could see that being. I could see there being some appeal to that. Hey, Red. I keep subbing and unsubbing to your YouTube channel, but you're not hitting 6K. Is it bugged? I don't think it's bugged, no, but we are only six subs away from 6k. But don't feel obligated to subscribe if you are not interested. Because I think that actually hurts. But if you want to subscribe to it and leave like a couple dozen videos running in the background every day for the next two months, My then I think you ought to consider leg. it. If you want red, I can send you some pics of me in shorts with my ass out. No, I think I'll pass. When was the last time that Peach Air wasn't your stream title? I don't know, but it was probably a mistake. 
It's probably a error in judgment, whenever that was. He's being modest. Don't sub and tell other people to sub. Cause might like him. Oh yeah, sub. Don't sub. If you like it, that's cool. It's fun when the YouTube videos are doing well or when people are checking them out. That's fun. Uh, what's happening here? This is pretty good. I'm at 22, that kind of blows, but I can do some other stuff. It's pretty good. I like to play this, but not without a 1. Um, he could have hit it, then shot it, and then I would have burned a card, although that's usually not very smart. Spend 2 here. I can just drop this, maybe. And then next turn we can go like 4 and 2, depending. One of my students, I'm doing English tutoring, basically comes instead of using the web courses because uh, by his own admission he needs me to start stare him down and make him scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. It can be this and this if the board's empty. Man. Hearthstone is like oh mega buggy these days. Everything freezes the game. <laughs> but you know. Luckily we play fast, so we haven't missed any turns because of it, but boy if I did, that'd be even more annoying. If he has nothing on board, we're gonna play the four and the two. And I guess we kind of hope we don't hit a spell for a turn. So we could dump our hand and not burn. But if we burn a card... Oh, wait, we're not going to burn this turn. Uh, we're, we're not... Like, I, I don't really care if I burn a card because I have so many cards. I prefer not to if I can avoid it. But... Um, we need to size the... Amaro. Better? <laughs> How about if we come up one? Okay, what do we want to do? An epic treasure. It's not great. But if I do it this turn, then I might be able to play the Legendary Treasure next turn. You know what? I'm just going to throw this out. Thin my hand a little bit, push a little bit of damage. Maybe kill him, because we pushed the two this turn. If this is alive, then the Legendary Treasure might kill him. Okay, so what do we do here? I can go... Are there none on the bottom? Oh, the deck tracker reset, right? So I'm one off. Make no mistakes. So I can Shoot any minion, then excavate my own 1-1. One, one. Then I can play the legendary treasure if there's not a target. Pick me, pick me. Well, we seem to be winning a lot of games like with these type of cards and um, like the sludges and stuff. Hitting all of that stuff is pretty uh, lucrative. My deck tracker has 
Oh, well, more is showing up now, apparently. Well, sometimes new expansion stack tracker can be a little dicey. I get two draws now before next turn. I'll try to find a sludge or a better two. I mean, I'm not opposed to playing this. Um, wow. What's he doing over there? Gotcha. Kinda need it to die now. Now's a good time for it to die. my own guy. We got a, I'm gonna burn one card, is that right? I love drag from below. Discard your lowest cost card. I don't really want to discard those because I sort of need my my pings. Maybe he thinks he should just never play anything. Uh, let's start with this. This drag below? It only hits minions. So I kind of have to tap. Boy, these are awful. I don't want to tap. Okay. So eager to ask, what's been your favorite class this expansion? It's the second day, and it's too early. Oh wait, Arena has been out for a week. Yeah. Uh, my favorite class is probably Death Knight because it's the best mix of, of functional and competitive while also being fun. I like Mage a lot. It's just most of your Mage decks suck. But I think Mage is really fun. What if I drag it below? What if I just play this and trade? Just play this. Then I have nothing to drag below. I'm just gonna be floating the mana. I eight. Yeah, I'll just do this. Uh, his death rattle goes off before mine. So I should lose the two three. On average, uh, it's still eight. It deals eight, right? Deal this minion's attack damage randomly split amongst all enemies. Could be decent if I buff. We're giving it that spell damage matter. Uh, yeah, I should have given it spell damage. No. Oh. Enough smoke stacks, poop beard. I don't have enough smoke stacks yet. Three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that's probably okay, right? Let's hit there. Let's play this. Let's drag that. Let's ping that. Am I getting a rare or a common? Am I getting a common? I'll smokestack that. Yo. Buffed South Sea Deckhands are pretty good. Buffed South Sea Deckhand. What's South Sea Deckhand? I don't understand why they decided to bring Leroy back. Standard is unbearable. I mean, everybody says every standard meta, meta is unbearable all the time. And I kind of agree. Nobody ever seems to like any of them. Can they survive the ring of death? It's my turn. Do 
you one charge, I remember that. How come we're talking about that card? Uh, oh, deck tracker took a total dump. Okay. Okay. It's meta shifted since Tuesday. You know, I haven't really looked at win rate today. I won't go down without uh, Hunter hasn't dropped much. Demon Hunter hasn't dropped much. Death Knight has probably gone up a little bit. Maybe a little less than 1%, which is a lot. But like, somewhere between like 0.1 and 1% in that range. Looks like Demon Hunter went up a bit. Uh, Priest and Rogue have both dropped another percent or so from what I last saw. Warrior, Druid, Warlock are basically, you know, for all intents and purposes, kind of unplayable. Um, Mage is not good. Yeah, it looks like the only thing that changed a bit is some of the worst classes seem to have gotten a little worse. Death Knight seems to have gotten a little better. It's probably just another bad matchup for them. Like, now there's, there's yet another class that... Might have been a better way to like guarantee that. I'm not sure with like this and that. Maybe you know how many games are played and how many packs are sold from one expansion to the next. I'm sure. I'm sure there's an expectation and uh, a historical expectation, and they make decisions based off of that, which you know they should. And millions of bots. Yeah, counting the bots, it might be tens of millions of players. Sure. It's always people already read that. Back in standard, so Palin just had hand buffs and deals 30 damage on turn 6. With the Leroy. It's not good for the people who are facing that card. Uh, Leroy's... Maybe he's not draftable, huh? Maybe he did not get implemented in as a draftable card. So what do we do? We can just shoot it. Free health? Free health matches up well with that. Poison's just good though, right? Let, let's just take poison. Like if, our, if our main concern is dealing with this guy, then uh The, the health is probably better. If our desire is to make the best board, this this has to be better. Could like trade one and just deathwing it. Keep two poisons. Keep one poison. Um. Wow, I actually discarded one of those deck tracker back on Rise and serve your king. I played a Leroy in arena yesterday but I think I didn't I didn't draft him I discovered him you don't remember uh, what happened to my board all, all. Alright, so how am I gonna get there? I gotta keep pushing damage. I need him to not heal. Improper. 
proper order. Fortunately, I didn't get to deal any damage. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. My pain doesn't compare to your plague. Six mana, destroy my minion. I'm in a buttload of three twos. That is not ideal. Is the Huntress too insane? I don't think Huntress is super strong in this meta. It's an understated five. Sometimes deals six, sometimes deals nine to a bunch of two twos. It's a hard card to get like full value off of everything. We'll say that it's insane that the animation throws like little uh arrows. It doesn't feel very huntressy. Uh Nicholas, thank you for your follow. Four smokestacks in hand every game. Not the game I played against a priest where they had a uh, peasant on one. That game I did not have those things. What's in here? Do we know? That's the car another card. We don't know, but I want to know. Uh, <clears throat> I can potentially destroy a lot of plagues. Huntress in Warcraft had a glaive ability. Yeah, it should look more glaivey and more bouncy. Less yet. Oh, a shadow spell. Let's destroy a buttload of plagues. Mm, fine. Uh, also fine. Mm, fine. Mm, that's fine. Did it shoot his face? Oh, it shot the thing I was going to <laughs> smokestack. I was like, oh, I was going to smokestack that. Yeah, I guess that's so. fine. Symphony. I like Symphony. Draw three cards. At the end of your turn, discard them. Um, if I hit them, it's kind of bad, but it could be kind of good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Happy Cranberry. Gurishinia, Vikitio, Epo. I hear fat people. Sorry, I had um, notifications off from for a little bit there on accident. Deal six to all. I think I'd rather just have a six six reborn. The deck is awesome. So many synergies. I'm trying my best here. Reverberations is kind of insane. Wanted to tempo it out. I could cast reverberations. I guess I can reverberate, smokestack anything. I just tuned in what it's saying. This is kind of a wacky hand, huh? Extraordinary. I mean, depending, <laughs> that might actually be fine. That might be the worst case scenario or the best. One of the cards is like life steal and hurt him, right? Frost plague is bad. Okay, that's not ideal. Draw six isn't very good. Pick me! Pick me! With the odds of casual one in seven hundred twenty-nine. What's up, Mister Colst? Hope you're doing okay. Might draw some more plagues. Might not. Just draw some cards. Um, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna oak stack my guy.
Destroy a soul fragment in your deck. I don't know if that's even good. Um, now that I think about it. Having another taunt's okay, though. Uh, Kagbion gifting one to Colst. Oh wait, it's only a 243, my bad. See, those aren't even, you know, is that even... You know? I have no idea how many plagues are left in my deck. Can that go face? The four damage. I don't know if it was a mistake, but I want to support him in his frustrations. Cobalt Miner. Can I ever kill him? I might be able to kill him here. Okay, um, trade it, hit, hit, um, what if I hit, hit, six, what if I just do this? As a result, um, he's very hard to cast. It was not easy. There were so many ways to fuck the game up. <laughs> yeah, I think that was possible. I greet you. Well met. Trust me, I must know how to fuck this up. <laughs> you know, you do a great job. Ooh, uh, I saw we drew it too, and I got excited. I think I will cast it just to mitigate the board a little bit. You can go 3-4 or 3-4 depending. 3 mana. 3 mana? Muster? Uh, really? Banner man! Well, if he's only buffing like 1, okay, he buffed 4. Uh, Crazy Jesper. Thank you for your follow. Crazy Jesper. Let's try to get, I don't know, 100 new followers today? Do you think that's possible? Um, We have uh, 10 so far. We had 26 yesterday, so probably unlikely, but also not impossible. Spell. spell Zinjari. Reverberator? Smoke stack it. Boy, that divine shield's kind of annoying. Why don't we um pick me, pick me. reverberate it just to get a copy of it, which looks pretty good. And then why don't we just shoot in this one? Without AoE, poison actually matters. I couldn't spell that if my life depended on it. Zinshari? I don't know. I think it's like with a Z. We rise to the of the sun. Still has mana for consecration. Got consecration from that card, which is uh, a bit unfortunate. Rather unfortunate. Boy, that stinks. Probably has just defeated us. It's boogie time. This thing out, it's still reverberated. It dies after taking damage. So I could smoke stack it. What do I get? I get a common card. Healing. It's 
healing. I guess I can do that. Doesn't seem very good. Maybe I just play this and smoke stack it again. Is Hearthstone even playable anymore? It just freezes? What? Why is this? That, like you can't even play the game? Like literally anymore? It just shuts down? I like the new thing. Is anybody else experiencing that? I mean we always experience some level of that but... Man it's like five times a night now. Okay what happened? He did. Oh Vine Cleaver. Just Vine Cleaver. Three, two, two. I mean, should I just tap? I really want more cards. That happened a lot as well. What do I do with this? I can hit there, I can chop there. This should definitely summon a 6-6 six, six, the turn you play it, no? Put, um... Put a 6-6 six, six on the board for me. Really? It's not too heavy. This should deal 4 to something that has 4 health. Okay, his card did about five times as much as mine for half the price. Half the cost deal. I guess it's only. It's only. It's not quite half. I don't think Tarim's really beatable. Keeping the smokestacks has felt. Good. Sounds to put me to sleep. It's elevator music. I don't know if you've ever ridden in an elevator. Man, it must be a pretty bumpin' ride, though. Must be a groovy yeah, elevator. You. I think it's, uh... I don't have enough mana. What is it? Boy, I wish you didn't play that one. <laughs> it does let me set up a smokestack or a kill with the sludge. Now if he hero powers... I guess I don't have that. Which means I can play this and not use my coin. That could be okay too. I'm glad that Hearthstone hit 10 years without an in-game deck tracker. It's amazing. <laughs> could you imagine? An in-game deck tracker. <laughs> oh, I can shoot it and hope a one health minion comes out. I can shoot it and then have the ability to coin if something really problematic comes out. Or I can just bump there and tap. I think tapping last actually makes sense this time. Yo Red, I got 12 wins on Pally for the first time ever. What a rush. Congrats, man. Sometimes a lot of that stuff is lost on me because of how much I play. Who did we raid the other day? That nice lady? I forget her name. I followed her, so... Oh, Emerald Boa. We raided Emerald Boa, and she seemed like she was having so much fun playing Arena. And I was like, man... 
I don't, I don't have fun in the same way anymore. I still have fun, but not in the same way. Not knowing like what could happen and like what's gonna happen and having all these unique experiences. I miss that. But it's true of like anything you see or do a lot, right? If you watch a TV show, you miss that feeling of watching it for the first time. It's still good to go back and rewatch Breaking Bad, but it's it's not the same thing. It's not the same anymore. I hate playing off curve. I hate it. You need to find your joy. I mean, I get joy out of streaming, and I get enjoyment out of playing Hearthstone, but not every aspect of Hearthstone. Far smaller number of things or percentage of things relative to that of a new player's experience or somebody who's new to arena specifically like when i play you know if i were to play duels or if i were to play battlegrounds even i mean maybe less so battlegrounds but like it would be like i, I don't know what's gonna happen i don't know if i've lost or if i've won i don't know like 95% of the possible outcomes before they happen. What's going on here? Why is he doing this to me? You yeah, whatever. I'll still swing. It's... I mean, it only be, it heals him for four a turn. Washed up. Who's washed up? I love movies when I go back. To them, I missed something. I'm like, whoa! Yeah, that can be nice. That can be nice, yeah, for sure. Poisonous? Draw some shitter. Shoot this one. Why would he shoot this one and not this one? I might not have a spell. Or I might not have a spell I want to cast. I don't really have a spell. I guess I use one of these. So maybe he knew. Maybe he knew I was going to do this. New hero card. Mistake. It's not a mistake, Jirax. Now shut your mouth. Now shut your ever-loving yap. And kill that without giving him life. Uh, I can uh, run this in there and then do this uh, and then hero power, but this stays alive. I don't love that. Rewatches on quality shows and films with new details to find and experience are certainly immensely enjoyable. Yes. But they're different. It's different than the first time. But that's the beauty of, of a really good show or movie that rewards you for rewatches. Those are rare, but like those are definitely fun too. Um, I want to do this. I want a Rattle Gore hero for Arena. Yeah, that'd be good. What does he do? Two mana, summon a 2-2, two, two, Death Rattle. Get minus one, resummon him with minus one, minus one. Keeps enchantments. What? Death rattle, give a random friendly minion, resummon this minion, minus one, minus one. Three mana. Maybe. I think that's why kids are neat. You get to see their first time reaction. Yeah, I don't have any kids. But I think, you know, some aspects of kids could be kind of kind of neato. 13, 16, 17, 18. Always going to face seven, fourteen, six, nine, twelve, sixteen. This is one off. 
What about with this? Plus two attack? Then I can't play this. I may have lethal or like... I think I can put him to one. I'm not gonna double check. I'm not gonna count again. That's ridiculous. There might be ways you could find it with things like this. But I'm also not gonna do that. Immune saves your guy. Yeah, but I don't I don't I'm not gonna lose any of them. I'm kind of hoping to get Chaos Creation, which would just kind of eliminate the entire board. How cute! He's struggling to remove the 6 sixes every turn. That is adorable. I must have lethal here, right? I immediately don't see ways in which to even deal any damage <laughs> to his face. Uh You face the Rexus! The ever born that the moon is weakened! Yado Job's done. Um, that would have been nice to get two of. I'm trying to download something real fast. I'll start this show. Okay. Close that. I'll do one more thing real fast. Okay, what am I doing? Two and two? Tap and use this. Do I have a shadow spell? I feel like I have a shadow spell. Okay, I'd rather do that than tap. Your opponent's cards cost health. Pardon me? Your opponent's cards cost health instead of mana next turn. Isn't that bad for me? Put down to 20. I mean, I I'm scared. What if he, you know? Kind of cool. Five mana, five seven charge. Here, sorry, I'm reading chat again. Is Hunter busted in arena? Yes. I think it's great. Four smoke stacks, two sludge on wheels. You don't see that every day. Yeah, lots of um, excavate. Hunter pick Katarina, Winterwisp, Zuljin, or defense attorney Nachos. Um, none of those are actually very good. I mean, relative to what you can get a lot of the time. Um, just throw five into his face or one. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? I thought maybe Zul'jin. Yeah, take Zul'jin. Why not? He's Zul'jin. What do you kill? What do you discard? You know I really needed that. Could have really used that. Let's just play this. Is that better? Maybe better than a drain soul. Better on our mana. Yeah, if I had Zul'jin and like... 
Oh, if I had shot it, then this could work now. Help? Okay, maybe not. I wish he took poison. You kind of want, like, I'd want, like, two collaterals and a Zul'jin, and then, like, nothing over four. A great success with Nathanios. Most games ended before turn eight with Hunter anyways. Song, this is called Wild Cat. Um... So I can smoke stack one. I can smoke stack another. I can drain soul one. Choose a I don't remember what it does. Choose a flight path and go dormant. I'm gonna just take this, because I could get poison. And then this card gets better without all that fluff on the board. Um, white to tofu, sexy boy. Thank you guys for your follows. Um, it's going to spawn a an abundant amount of uh, of additional taunts. Epic. Get. Silence? If I get a silence, I can probably win. Silences are pretty rare. Hmm. I kind of like a silence. 2-2 two, two doesn't really help me again. Having this card down, kind of nice. Maybe. Is it ever better to just not hit it? Probably, right? Because otherwise I just give him a much better board. Uh, what happened? Hellfire happened. Destroys my entire board and taps. Okay. I think that just killed him. Cool. Bravery gives you taunts too. That's true. I'm not sure how come people keep saying things like that. Who's your favorite Hearthstone player? Um, I don't know. Nice stream. Thanks, man. I'm trying my best. Do my best. This hand looks like it started out pretty grim, but we'll kind of have to see. Maybe we can draw out of this. Uh, let's shoot that. Let's Kill. Uh. Oh, say yourself. I'm up there. But what about, um, what about like Dose of Coffee? Does he get any consideration? What about uh, dreads? I watch a lot of dreads. The coin gives you an extra mana for one turn only. True. My favorite Hearthstone player is dreads. I like Red Beard Stream because they have so much similar. They have such similar personalities. <laughs> Do we? That's not good for me in particular. That is really not what you want to hear as a description of yourself. Look for the one. I could do this too, but with the 1-1 one, one on board, it's a little worse. I think I'm actually just going to take seeds. 
have the ability to uh, have some swing turns, maybe. Zero mana 3-3s three in the deck. It's a pretty harsh insult. <laughs> True. Okay, what do I need? I guess these actually do something. I mean, they could do something. He's only got six mana. Couldn't it be kind of hard to kill my minion? Perhaps it is not hard at all. It's a lot more power over the long term for free, right? Could be a little tough because I might be board locked. Apologies, didn't realize. Lightning Redbeard is arguably the greatest positive influence on his streaming career to be an insult. <laughs> well, it is. Oh, it is. You do this. You can buff nothing. You can shoot this guy. Burning five cards from my deck. Summoning a five. Hmm. Eh, most of the cards in my deck kind of suck. Don't they? Lost one excavate, one free minion, another excavate, a mothership. Okay, well, we found all of our good cards at least, um, but they are all gone now. That might have been a problem. How many more excavates do I have left? Just one? Two. I still have two, don't I? Oh no, I already used Miner. I think we only have one left. Could have done this. But if this board is still around and I can kind of... I might be able to kill him. I can deal one, two, six extra. Five, nine, ten. What the hell? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen plus six is nineteen. It's, oh, and I can shoot him next turn, maybe. Huh. Wow! He looks just like me! Wow! He looks just like me! Smell a walking mountain? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Guess there's nothing I can really do about that. Um. Okay, let's hit like that. Asmo die with the raid? I want to know where he fin uh, finished up at uh, in his BG's run today. I want to know. Mo Raid, heck yeah, that's great. Thank you so much, Asmo. I was watching and he was around 10.6 uh, maybe, 10.7, 10.5 in that range. I feel like 11k is around the corner. It's fun having a, a number attached to... um. Oh, that's so much worse than had I just... And the uh, other stuff. Hmm. Tap. Can I? Can I? Smoke stack my own guy to get how much extra damage? I can. I might be just be able to just kill him. Um, but it's cool to have a number attached so you can see like someone's progress. Um, if you're from Asmo's channel. We're playing Arena. Is that a death battle minion to your hand? Uh, here, it's like manual Hearthstone. It's horrible. <laughs> no, it's okay sometimes. You win the next game, you'll have 12 wins. Which is more <laughs> than 11. So you're doing what the other guy is doing. <laughs> Saying things that are true, that I can't dispute, but I wonder why they're said. <laughs> but that's okay, you know? Sometimes people just gotta chat. 12 wins with Warlock is pretty pog. Yeah, 11 is pretty pog too, I hope. I hope 11 still gets people kind of excited. But, yeah, 11's... That's pretty rare with Warlock in this meta. If it ain't a Hunter... Even a Demon Hunter going 12 feels pretty, pretty difficult. 
two demonic assaults. Uh, not the best card probably to get duplicated, but it's good that we hit something. At last, LUL. But most of the ones I got, I would probably just um, use here. But we didn't get one that we wanted to use. Four mana. What's he play for four? Four, four? Four, five. Get a rare thing. And just blast him. Eh, we gotta get through it eventually. Maybe it gives us a... King, maybe we use these two. Who knows? Interesting. Oh yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Chaos creation. Man, it really feels like we're dead already, huh? That feels that way. You're a beast. What's up, pure dubstep? You're wonderful. Where are all the hunters? We faced them early in the run. They got scared. Get your high YouTube messages ready for when this fight is over. Demonic Salt lost to a cow assault. <laughs> cow assault's too strong. Uh, I lose my whole board. He overloads for a bit. <laughs> Not a lot, though. We went first. I guess we played a 2-2 two -two on 2. And on turn 3, we played... We played a smokestack and a tap, so that's probably just not good enough in modern Hearthstone, huh? Um, I don't even know what we could find. Not Cabal Outfitter, I know that much. Two, two, deal two to the whole board, maybe? Two, two on two. An 11, 10 on four for him. <laughs> Or three. No, that was turn four, right? Little anticlimactic, but hey, 11 with one of the worst classes in the meta, that's gotta count for something, right? I wonder if they drafted an elemental legendary, I wonder. Actually, a pretty good roll <laughs> for that spot. I want to see how much does Scar cost? Doesn't Scar cost seven? I had an elemental deck. He played zero non elemental minions. And he played a uh, Granite Forgeborn in his elemental list shaman on turn three. Good non DK run. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we can uh, maybe get it up there on YouTube. Maybe people should, uh, I'll mark it. 